Welcome to the local news network Telluride. I'm Julia Colfield. In the headlines, firefighters have been busy this week handling a series of small fires in San Miguel County outside of Norwood and Egner. The largest being the Grassy Fire, which covered 11 acres. Outside of Nukla, the Bucktail Fire has grown to nearly 4,000 acres and was only 10% contained as of August 6th. These smaller fires are believed to have been caused by lightning strikes, but the cause of the Bucktail Fire is undetermined. Proposition 91, a citizen's initiative to ban the trophy hunting of mountain lions, bobcat, and lynx, received enough signatures to appear on this November's ballot. Hunting advocates petitioned the state Supreme Court to block the measure, but the court denied it. The initiative does allow the killing of mountain lions or bobcats who threaten livestock or people. The only state in the U.S. that currently bans mountain lion hunting is California. Telluride Town Council unanimously voted to award the commercial space in the Voodoo Building to two small local businesses that applied together, the Coffee Cowboy and Flowers by Ella. The town will also be conducting a lottery for Voodoo Rental Housing. The application period closes on August 16th. In other news, you might have heard about Susie, the small, sweet rescue pup that disappeared from Trout Lake on July 4th, where her family has a cabin. They searched endlessly, hung up posters, called all the local shelters, and had almost given up hope, when one month later, to the day on August 4th, Susie showed up again at the cabin. Her family has no idea where she spent the month, but she came back in perfect health and was even freshly groomed. Her family, Susie's mom, dad, three kids, and doggy brother Rudy, say they are ecstatic to have her back home and grateful for her miraculous return. For Local News Network Telluride, I'm Julia Caulfield. For more local news, tune into KOTO Radio weeknights at 6 p.m. or check out telluridelocal.news. Thanks for watching.